It's about culture, good vibes, and gathering around the table. Our culture is rich, our food is flavorful, and our people are friendly. When we gather around the table, we celebrate milestones, we laugh until we cry, and we create memories that last a lifetime. Good food brings people together. Food is love. It's comfort. It reminds us of our roots. Caribbean nations have long been celebrated for our food. The flavors are bold, the colors are vibrant, and the dishes are hearty. There's nothing quite like it because there is nothing quite like us. Welcome to the Caribbean Cookout Show. Hi, I'm Emily Frisch. And I'm Stacey Barrett. And welcome to the Caribbean Cookout Show. We have six different chefs who each represent a different Caribbean country coming together to highlight the beauty and culture of their nation through food, music, art, and unique traditions. We're not only here to celebrate Caribbean culture, but we're here to gather around the table and share a meal and swap stories of the island life. Welcome to the Caribbean Cookout Show. Puerto Rico is a Caribbean island that is rich in culture and history. The people of Puerto Rico are known for their hospitality, but they're also known for their love of food. And Puerto Rican cuisine is like a blend of West African, Caribbean, Spanish, and some mainland American influences. Today, we have a husband and wife duo representing the island of Puerto Rico, La Chefa Giomi and Rafi. Welcome, Mr. and Mrs. Bangara. Bangara! To the Caribbean <laughs> Cookout Show. We're so incredibly happy to have both of you amazing chefs with us today. Thank you for having us. Firstly, we want to know why did you decide to come out? So let's go back about eight, nine years ago. I started getting really sick. So I, by profession, I'm a medic. That was my job in the military. When I was 18, I joined the Army right after 9 11. I became a trained field medic, which deals with trauma. Fast forward a few years, I may be overweight. I used to weigh 80 pounds more. I had a fatty liver, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. He was losing his hair, patches everywhere. And I'm in my early 30s at that. Yeah. She and, was... and we had just lost mom, your mom, unexpectedly. Our daughter was 11 months old. And you, you, we started thinking, like you started thinking, you have no other family members alive. We have a child. I'm too young to, to for something that happened to me. So you started taking your health seriously. Yeah, I had an aha moment when I lost my mom. I looked at my daughter and I said, well, my grandfather and my grandmother already passed away. My mother passed away. On my side of the family, I'm it. Either I'm gonna keep going down this path, which means if I didn't regress the illnesses, I was probably gonna die in my early 50s. Or I could do something about it and attack the source. And for me, the source was the food. So that's why I decided to look at something like mofongo, which I love or pasteles, or empanadillas, alcapuria, bacalaito, <gasps> and figure out how to do all that vegan, plant-based. And thank God my wife was on board because she said, we're gonna do this, but we're not gonna lose the cultural traditions that we grew up eating. Our daughter's not gonna miss out on that. We're gonna figure out how to do this veganized mm -hmm. so she can have the best of both worlds, our cultura, our culture, and the health. Yeah. So that was really the catalyst. So tell us a little bit more about what you're gonna cook for us today. So today we have a little bit of mofongo, but instead of uh, with pork chops or chicken, we're gonna do it with fried oyster mushroom, which keeps the flavors and textures that all Boricuas like. Yeah. And un poquito de arroz con gandules, lentejas, a little salad on the side, a lot of yummy. So good, it's gonna make you wanna slap your mama, I promise. No! Don't slap your mama, it'll make you dance, okay? Well, you know, I really wanna dance. So let's go over to the kitchen and get it going. Let's, get let's it. go. Yeah. Weapon. Welcome, Bangara crew, Thank you. to your kitchen. This is where the magic happens, yes. where you will create all of your amazing vegan food. Okay, so we're gonna make the traditional Puerto Rican dish that everybody in Puerto Rico, in the barrios, chinchorritos, it's everywhere. So it's arroz con gandule. I make it with jasmine rice, rice with pigeon peas. It's delicious. You have it for Christmas, Thanksgiving. Tres Reyes Mago, like every holiday, arroz con andule, okay, that's, that's a must. 
Um, we're also gonna make mofongo, which the base is made of mashed plantains, green plantains, with, and, I, and I season it with lots of herbs, lots of garlic. My hubby here mashes it, and then bilong. And then we top it with fried oyster mushrooms. Chef Justin Timonary here with Fresh from Florida. You know, Florida is the gateway for the Caribbean to the United States and part of our Florida culture and heritage certainly comes from the Caribbean. You take Latin, you take Southern American, and you take Caribbean, and you've got Florida cuisine. Now what we've also done is we brought in this amazing Florida produce and Florida seafood and meat for all these incredible Caribbean chefs to work with. So they're using the best of their techniques and heritage throughout the Caribbean and the best of what we have here grown and harvested in the state of Florida to make an incredible dish for our judges to taste. It is a phenomenal thing. So fresh from Florida, so much good stuff, whether it's rum, tropical fruit, seafood from the Gulf and the Atlantic, we have it all. It is delicious healthy and nutritious. So I'm gonna introduce Chef Justin from Fresh hey, from Chef. Florida. Hi. Hi guys. Hola. Look what we brought you. Nice. Fresh from Florida sweet corn. Those are grown right here in the state of Florida. It's sweet, delicious, and crunchy. I know Beautiful. you're gonna do something wonderful with this. Yes. Absolutely. So I'll Thank let you. you get at it. Okay. Thank you. you got it. And the mofongo, the way we're gonna make it for you guys is like the old school way. So some people boil plantains and then make it, but that gives it a softer, softer mm -hmm. consistency. We're like doing it estilo campo, which means we're gonna deep fry them in grapeseed blend. So it's grapeseed oil, so it doesn't change the, the cholesterol. And then we're gonna layer it. So inside of the plantain, we use cold pressed olive oil infused, because it's very rich in flavor, and jackfruit. And we mash that together in the motor. And for our negritos, you really know that connects us to fufu. So I gotta give y'all the bridge, because you know, that's the lineage. That really, <laughs> mofongo really is a descendant of fufu. Yeah. Right? Having that said, that's the base. Then the top, we're gonna eliminate the pork and replace it with the mushroom. And then we're gonna top that off as a third layer mm -hmm. of flavor with our home sauce. We have a lot of non-vegan clients because they just can't believe it's not me. And that to me, especially when you come straight from Puerto Rico and you try my food, I'm like, oh my God, this is a real Rick in here. Oh God, oh God, oh God. But when they, actually like it and they tell you oh my gosh this is better than this place or that place i'm like really you mess with me no for real for real. i mean it it's really good i'm like oh my god that's like the like the best compliment i can get that we're in and confirmation that we're doing the right thing what you doing <gasps> oh! we're fine <laughs> We make the mix for the mushrooms. Oh, I yes. okay. So you're putting mushroom, you're putting it in sauce, and yes. then I, it's like I saw a fryer outside. Yeah. When I decided to go vegan, I literally went to the kitchen and I was like, "We start now." I'm opening everything and I'm like, "Trash, trash, 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 trash." Okay. Then once I decided to go vegan, I was like, "Oh, wait, Amaya, our daughter, wait." How do I make Puerto Rican food? I can't have her miss out on our culture. Abuela, mis abuela, mommy, oh my God. So then I had to like problem solve and be like, all right, arroz con andule I could do without this, without the pollo, without the tocineta. Okay, let's see how I can make it taste like me. So then I started playing with new herbs that I hadn't even known about. So it was also like a learning experience for me. And so it became fun. And then, you know, we realized that a lot of the stuff we were initially buying, frozen foods was processed or like bland, not a lot of flavor. So we were like, we can't go vegan if it's like this. So I started playing around with whatever I was craving, like pincho, you know, like barbe barbecue skewers. They're made out of pork with barbecue sauce. And I was like, man, how do I do this? And then we played around with jackfruit. Jackfruit is so versatile. It's Familia del Panapeng. It's really big. You open it, it shreds into like chicken pieces. It takes, absorbs any flavors you give into it. So once we played around with it and then you try it, it's after. When you try it and you're like, oh my God, this is, it worked, baby, it worked. So then I had to redo it again. Or if it doesn't work, I kind of like figure out, okay, I did too much of this. I'll do less of this next time. So it was a lot of trial and erroring and having a baby girl trying it. And when she would like it, oh, that was the best feeling. For me, I took this approach, right? Because I was like, I'm of the mindset that you can't convince anybody. Because if I convince you of something, somebody else is going to convince you of something different. So I didn't even try. I just thought, 
If I was a Puerto Rican looking to improve my health, I would want something as close to what I'm used to as possible. So I remember when I was a kid, we would go to Levitown. Levitown is this place in Puerto Rico near the capital, San Juan. And by the beach, they have a whole bunch of tents set up. And any traditional food you want is there. Mm -hmm. So because we were starting out of a tent and we still there out of a farmer's market, I told my wife, let's keep it simple. Let's imagine that we're in Levitown and we're one of those booths, but we're just gonna make everything plant-based and because I was trained in medicine, I took a scientific approach, which was how can I replace the meat that is what is not good for me, but keep the texture and the flavor the same. Mm -hmm. So like my wife said about the jackfruit, we looked at the mushroom. How can I make fried pork without using pork? So uh, we did a bunch of research. We found out oyster mushroom is the closest in texture, but the outside of the pork, you need to create that. So we use garbanzo flour. So these are just little things that if you look at it's it, readjusting, and the transition for to sh like showcasing the food to our family was easy because when they would come over, obviously they would have to eat what I would make. So when they would try it, they would be like, "Wow, this is not me. Like this is like really you did this all by yourself." And I'm like, "Yeah, why? Jomi, this is really good. Like you should sell this." And when I started hearing it, it was like, "Really? Okay." Okay, I thought it was just for us, but uh, okay, thank you, thank you, come on, come, come tomorrow, I'll, I'll make you something else, you know? You know, the other part that the intangible is when you trust in what you're doing and you understand that. Remember, food, how do I say this? Food has memories attached to it. So if you're going to present a food that is traditional and already has memories, you better come correct or people are going to dog you. So we decided we're only going to serve it if it's really good, like if you taste it and it makes you want to dance, great, yes. we'll serve it. It's a feeling. If you taste it and you're not sure, we're not going to serve it. <laughs> so that really, I think it was the, 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 the thing that took us over the edge. Do you want me to put this on the plate on the side for you? No. Or give it to the chef. I heard my name over here. I can check <laughs> in. We're going to put these mushrooms oh on the plate goodness. for you. Yes. Look at that crispy batter. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. So here's what I want. Since we're showing, right? Let's cut them so you guys can see. It looks like fried chicken. Feels like fried chicken. Feels like fried chicken. When you cut into it, smells it, like fried chicken. Because it's fresh, you still have the fleshly layer. Look at that. And now the chef will tell us what he thinks on the flavor. No cap. That means you got to be real. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. So if you like it, you got to say this with our chef. Bangala! Bangala! So good. <laughs> Yes. So for me, the culture is everything because, how do I explain it? Compared to the American culture, there's less divisions. Yes, we got Negritos, which are Blacks. We got, you know, more of the Spaniards, which are more the Blanquitos. But as a collective, we're just Puerto Ricans. So when you grow up, regardless of the shade, the hairstyle, we are all one people. We all listen to conga, salsa, merengue, bachata. We all eat, you know, Patele, empanadilla, like mofongo. Like we grew up with the same food, the same music, the same dances, the same people. And it's not just unique to us because it's the same thing in Jamaica, DR. That unionship to the land and to each other is what connects us and separates us at the same time from other cultures. And that's what makes it special to me, being able to grow up in that environment, in that sense of community. Yeah. It's very enriching. It has nothing to do with money and everything to do with your spirit. What is this? You missed all the fun. <sighs> no, I didn't. I came out the best part. <laughs> you were right. So <laughs> he is right. Okay, so we have a Rican vegan plate. That's crazy because it doesn't look vegan at all. It looks insane. Okay, so this is the mofongo part where there's the mashed plantain with lots of herbs and garlic okay. topped with our fried oyster mushroom. It should be modest. There's three layers of flavors. Oh. The mofongo. <laughs> has cold pressed olive oil infused right into it. The school pop. Got the salad, <laughs> like eight layers of flavor. You, then you got the mushroom, and then we got our house sauce on top. So you got three layers of flavor in one dish, right there. Then you have jasmine rice con um, gandules, with so it's pigeon peas. Mm -hmm. We have our stewed lentils with calabazas. Mm -hmm. Then we have our house uh, salad with our homemade dressing and the 
Y las pelotitas, these are surprise for you guys. Mm -hmm. We decided to make um, fried jackfruit, which is our version of fried chicken. So we call it fried jackin mm -hmm. with barbecue sauce. So it's our version of what the Boricuas call un pincho. A okay. skewer. In Puerto Rico, a skewer is like a street food. Anywhere you go, you could get like a meat stick. Mm -hmm. And it's just like little pieces of meat, pork or chicken, mm -hmm. on a stick. Yep, in Haiti so, we call this boulette. Ah, boulette. But it's meat. It's ground meat that we put in, in a ball. Okay. So yeah, for us, instead it. of meat, we did it with jackfruit to replace yes. the meat. But so. this looks amazing, but I really don't want to mess this up. So yes. I want to mess this up. So, All right, let's what go. can I try here? Try, you can try it out. I want a ground cheese. Yeah, go ahead. I want to try a ground cheese. <laughs> so that's our oyster mushroom right there. It's a water. It's a water. Yeah. So you gotta say, Bangarai, you like it. Does it make it dance? It makes me dance. <laughs> yeah. Bangarai. Bangarai. It's a feeling. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to get a plate of this. Yes. So I'll meet you at the table. Okay. Let's where go. you can give me a plate. Okay, yes. we come. Let's go. To be invited to the Caribbean cookout for me has been a blessing. A blessing because it's almost like God, the universe, reminding us, hey, yeah, you've been grinding out of a tent for four years, but what you do is important. What you're doing matters to some people. It may not matter to all the Puerto Ricans, but the ones that don't have access to understand that they can shift their health. They can shift the lineage of their family. They can teach their kids a way to live and eat that still roots you in your own culture. But guess what? It takes away the part that harms us. The influence of colonialism over our food, culture, and people, over our health. I'm going to say this. This is really important for me because these are not things I see or hear on TV. People don't talk about how you can still retain your roots that you grew up with, but slightly... Getting emotional. Oh, bendito. In a good way. What? This moment. Like, we're, we're doing something for the people, not just Puerto Rico, but for the people, in a good way, with good intentions. And we're here, like, filming it, like, live, like, present in this, like, you know, just taking it all in, I'm being, I'm grateful. And then hearing you talk about it, I'm like, damn, I'm proud to be a Boricua. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Haiti is another Caribbean nation, rich in traditions, and are proud of their role in history. The Haitian people are also known for their love of neighbors, their strong roots, and their love of food. Haitian cuisine is a blend of French, African, Spanish, Taino, and Creole influences. We are excited to greet our second chef today, repping the country of Haiti, Doti Quentin. Welcome, Chef Doti, to the Caribbean Cookout Show. We're so incredibly happy to have you here with us today, but I want to know, and everybody else wants to know, why you decided to join us today. What inspired me to be a chef, to cook, is the story behind how I started from being eight years old and, and make that rise with time and see how it turned out, because I was able to eat it, um, and see how I progressed, see how during that time I perfect um, my cooking style, my recipes and I'm able to try different flavors and see how other people react when they taste my food, seeing other people reaction, bring other people together around the table with food is such an inspiration that once you get started you can't stop. So from one Haitian queen to another, you know I love my Haitian food. Yes. So tell me a little bit more about what you're gonna cook for us today. Um, I will be making stewed chicken with lima beans and jonjo, which is dried mushroom and white rice. Girl, you already know I know what jonjo is. I really can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> and Ali, let's go to the kitchen. Well, Chef Dorothy, welcome to this amazing kitchen where you're going to be able you. to cook all of the amazing food. I am excited. I can't wait to make this all of mine. Yes. This is my sanctuary. I can't wait to start smelling all of the, you know, aromas, the Haitianness, the, all of those flavors coming in together. So I'm going to leave you to it. Today I'm making stewed chicken with jojo, which is dried mushroom, lima beans, and serve that with white rice. And to start this dish, you need to start with the chicken. 
clean marinade your chicken now to make the chicken we're going to start with our marinade and our marinade is a piece for the a piece we use green onions garlic bell peppers celery ginger roots and also scotch bonnet pepper for a little heat for some heat you blend all of that together and you have this amazing work of art Hello. <laughs> so you know I'm back. Yes. I don't want to. I don't want to bother you, mm -hmm. but you know, every show needs a little twist somewhere. So I wanted to introduce you to our secret ingredient. I am ready for it. He's coming right now. Let's Chef Justin from Fresh from Florida. Hey there. Hi. Look what we brought you. Yes, peppers. Florida sweet bell peppers, all the colors that you could ask for: yellow, orange, and green. Chef, I know these are going to be wonderful in your they dish. Add some great color yes. and some flavor. I know you're going to get creative with it. So I'm going to leave you to these. Thank you. Thank you so much. I was waiting for this because it's such a dark dish with the jonjon being, you know, black. And all the peppers is just going to bring all the beautiful colors of the dish. I'm excited. Great. I can't wait. I know you have that covered. I'm not I, even worried. I, I have can't wait. Covered. You know, I can't wait to have my Haitian food. That's so it. So have fun with that. I I'll see you soon. I'm for you. I'll see you in a little bit. Yes. To showcase where I started. Um, I started with chicken, um, how my aunt will give me the chicken intestines while she's cooking. So she will give me that. I will turn them inside out, clean them, get my small little pot together with hers, and then we make it together. That's why I wanted to showcase that meal. It means so much to me because I started with chicken. I learned to cook with chicken. So that's why it makes the meal that I'm making today very inspirational. But tell me, what are you doing? It smells uh, so good. You need to explain. I know the chicken is ready, so now I'm ready for the sauce. I'm just cutting up my carrots and have my beans ready and start making the sauce for a chicken stew with okay. jonjon. Yeah, you had told me that you did. You were doing the chicken with the jonjon instead of putting it in rice, it's gonna be like a soup, a stew, it's a sauce. It's going to be a stew instead of a typical way of having jonjon, which is normally in rice. But it's a perfect opportunity to show uh, the variety of ways we could use jonjon. And you know sure. how much jonjon is pure and, and close to our culture mm -hmm. and all of that. So it's a perfect opportunity to show why we could do with it other than rice for sure but you already know what i'm gonna do with that sauce i'm gonna <laughs> pour it all over my rice because you know i do my it. rice with my jojo that's it honestly you i want moist rice. i want to taste something i don't like waiting to the table you know Ooh, you have something for me we can, of course we can taste a piece of chicken of course let's do it of course. let's get a bowl okay. oh, bel -mosu. Oh, bel -mosu <laughs> Worse. We don't we use utensils. We don't, need we don't do that. Okay. We don't do that here. It's not fun if you're eating it with, with utensils. Mm -hmm. Not as much as fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mare. Delicious, so good. right? Then then I, taste, I taste your piece. Yes. Yes. And then you you put something extra in your piece. Right? Extra. I put um, ginger roots and also celery. But then most people they, they don't. Most put people don't. Most people don't. Mm. And it makes such a difference. You most can taste people, the difference. Most people should. <laughs> most people need to start doing that. Mm. <laughs> I'm taking the swimming. That's it. Thank you, Chef. Enjoy, and I'll I will see you, see you in a few. Mm -hmm. Jonjo is a delicacy. It's pretty much our national identity because we are known. You cannot talk to someone about Haitian food if you don't mention Jonjo. We are known for that, and it is grown in primarily in the northern part of Haiti. And um, usually after, usually after the um, the rainy season from August to to October, that's when we get the most of it. And once we get that, we dry it, clean, go through it, remove all the dirt, the mud, anything that it could have collected. We rinse it, add it to cold water, allow that to come to a boil. And once that comes to a boil, put it to a strainer, and we add it to our chicken to make the sauce. The dinner table is a sacred place. It's where we come together to share a meal and connect with the people we love. The act of cooking and eating is one of the most ancient and intimate things we do as human beings. In Caribbean cultures, food is more than just sustenance. 
It's a way to connect with our heritage, our families, and our community. To us, the most powerful thing to do is to pull up a chair with contestants and judges alike to share the food that we love, to laugh and to grow together as a Caribbean cookout show family. Cookout show. I'm super excited to be here and I'm super happy that we're finally going to be eating. Are we excited? Yeah! And I really can't wait to introduce our chefs who will be with us shortly. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys for joining us today, for taking the time, for being here with us to enjoy our, our cuisine, to put together and bring together our culture and just come together as one. So I wanted to thank you for all being here. So such an amazing opportunity. To meet you amazing people. So round of applause to all of you. For your patience, for your patience. It's finally time to introduce the three amazing chefs. Yes, we have three chefs tonight. Come out, chefs. We want to see you. Show us your dishes. Okay, Puerto Rico. I see you. Yeah. And my girl Doherty from Haiti. So let's start with my Bangara team. Talk to us about your dish. Okay, we have a Boricua vegan dish here with mofongo, topped with fried oyster mushroom, arroz con gandules, stewed lentils, our homemade salad with our secret ingredient, the corn, maize. We got a surprise. Yes, and a little surprise. It's our fried jackin, which is fried jackfruit. It's our version of fried chicken with barbecue sauce. Ooh, Ooh nice. Now, to my Haitian goddess queen, Doati, tell us what you prepared for us today. Uh, today, I prepared for you stewed chicken with jonjo, which is dried mushroom, with lima beans, with the secret ingredients is bell peppers and serve with white rice. Ooh. I want to see, I don't know about y'all, but I want to see these plates, you know, up close so I can, you know, kind of, kind of see what's going on. So let's pass it around so everybody okay. can see. <laughs> can you imagine it's all vegan? Mm. It's so good, yeah. Wow. Keep it in. I know. <laughs> uh -huh. You gotta pass it back down. That was good. So everyone, first impressions. What are we thinking? The mm. aroma. Delicious. You know? Yeah, the aroma. Yeah, yeah, the aroma. The lingering yeah. smell even after the plate has been moved. It makes you want more. It makes me want more. So how about you all join us on the table? It looks like you've been standing long enough. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Okay, everyone, I really want to talk about you guys' first impressions and what you guys thought of, you know, the meals when we were passing it around. So we're going to start with Chef Justin and just popcorn our way down. All right. Absolutely. I love the way they've used all the vegetables in both of these dishes, and I can't wait to try some of the different textures. Mm. Yeah, and I saw in the, uh, in the Puerto Rican dish so many things in there. It's like eight or nine things. I can't wait to see what's, what's it, what's it tastes like and what it, uh, all those flavors together come together with. I love all the merging of flavors. The colors that are on each plate is just, it pops. It really, the freshness of the, the veggies that are on there, where you can tell the techniques on the cooking. I, I'm ready to dig in. I don't want to talk much more about it. I agree. I agree. Presentation was impeccable. And the aroma just wants me, I mean, I mean, our plates are empty and I'm literally like, okay, how much longer are we going to talk before we try this food? Right. So I'm definitely <laughs> looking forward to the vegan because of course I'm a pescatarian. Oh, but wow. then of course, Haitian, I don't care what diet you're on, you're gonna break that diet and eat some Haitian food. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Period. <laughs> Stace, what do you think? Well, I'm just ready for the times that I've never had it in chicken, so that's gonna be interesting. Right. Wait. And I already, come on, y'all. <laughs> no, because in Haiti we use jojo in so many different, you know, Way. dishes, so many ways. And like they said, like I've never had jojo as like a sauce on that's chicken. On so chicken. That's, that's insane. And I tasted that jojo chicken before everybody, so I can tell you mm. that it yeah. tastes really good. So I can't wait for you guys to try it. I'm so Chanel, now to you. What do you think? Well, my napkin's on my on my lap already. My plate is ready. So <laughs> as soon as it's plated, I'm ready to go. I'm with you. Ooh. Seriously, it smells divine. Divine. <laughs> Jay Perry. I could tell that the food was made with love. Mm -hmm. Presentation was on point, so I can't wait to taste that love. Yay. Yes, yeah. taste the love. I love that. What I love is what it represents. You know, we all have the same ingredients. But on every island, we took it and we made it our own. Mm. And we made it something beautiful. So it's just, it makes me smile. It makes my stomach growl. <laughs> but it makes me happy because this table is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And just like the variety on the plates, we have the variety around the table. Yeah. So let's enjoy and be one and bon appétit. Yeah! Yes. Bon appétit! Bravo! Oh. Oh. Since we started, like, and that's when you know the food was insane. Yeah. yeah. Caribbean people are only quiet when there's food around. Right. Good, right. Food. Good, Good food. food. Good food. So honestly, I want to talk about the amazing meal that some some of us are still enjoying, but some of us are like like me, have already enjoyed. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to know about Chef Goatee's food. I want to know about the Bangara Cruise food. So please, Nikki, I want to start with you. 
Can you please talk to me about what you love, what you were inspired by? I mean, the food is incredible. What I love is what our Boricua brother and sister did with our traditional food that we love so much. And as you know, we like our food full of sugar and pride, and that can be not so great for us, but they took the vegan option, and they made it just as flavorful and rich and full of energy and culture and you know what I love about this food is that you know it's all born out of the same heritage mm -hmm. where we are in all our different islands and all of our people got basic ingredients and we made something so beautiful out of it and and then that's what I, I just love about it just it's love mm -hmm. and it's fellowship and it's community and excellent job thank yeah, you so beautiful. much that's true yeah. thank you so much. The rice was skinny dipping, you know, it was just so light, so fluffy. You don't need utensils to eat it. This is something you eat with your hands. That's still that thing wow. that good. Yeah, yeah, you know? The sauce, I mean, it, the spices, mm -hmm. they're just dancing with one another, it's dancing in my me. mouth. I mean, whatever it is that you're doing, continue to do it. Because it gave what it was supposed to give tonight. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I truly and I, well, got, look at this. Look, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, my nose eat <laughs> now. My dose. Yeah. Yeah, you're my dose. <laughs> yeah. Stop my dose. My dose. You know, damn one game one. <laughs> now, with with the vegan food, I'm a pescatarian, and every time I'm like, okay, you know, I'm going to transition into, you know, that vegan life and I'm like uh sounds so boring yeah, yeah you know I'm trying you know sounds so boring <laughs> but you guys brought so much flavor and like Stacy was saying it was not missing anything like mm -hmm. I was eating the fried mushrooms and I'm like no this is not fried mushrooms mm -hmm. come on you chicken. gotta be kidding me yeah this is chicken <laughs> you know the meatballs the flavoring I can honestly say with both chefs the food was made with love mm -hmm. Right? And 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 it's 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 not something of course it's 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 not tangible. We can just fill it in the taste. Mm -hmm. Right? And the time that you put into making sure that these were it's like you prepared it for people that you love. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate that. I am full, I am happy, my yeah. stomach is happy. Yeah. I appreciate you guys so yeah. much yeah. and yeah. I absolutely yeah. enjoyed the dishes, all the flavoring, all the love that was put into it. And I think Yes, yeah. How you guys did it perfectly is the textures of the foods that you know there's the crunchy element there's the soft element like there's so much texture on the food that you're not bored like say said like I don't miss chicken like if I didn't have chicken on my plate I wouldn't miss it you know what I'm saying because there's so much flavor there's the barbecue flavor so it's like I feel like I'm consuming but it's mental you know it's all in your brain it's on your head if you taste the flavor that you want to taste or like you taste the salt or whatever that you would taste in Caribbean food you don't really need to know what it what it's made out of, you know right. what I'm saying? So yeah. all the flavors were there and I'm so happy. Like I mixed my food. So I took all of this amazingness and I did multi, we call it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I mixed it all up and ate it all together and it tasted amazing. That chicken was insane. I don't know what it, it was. It was like I thought it was gonna be that Haitian spice when I first bit into it, but it didn't get there, but it was just like perfect. Hey. In, he he was, chef was telling me, yeah. You need to see the She posted a video of the chicken. I gotta see that. I gotta see it. It was insane. And the lentils for me were delicious as well. I mean, everything we had here was great. Um, I'm Cuban. My parents are Cuban immigrants. So these family style meals are what we grew up on. I'm sure everybody here is the same. The whole family together at the house, a bunch of food at the table. Grab what you can, get one plate, two plates, fill as much food as you can and eat everything, like you say, together with our family, together with the food, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. It was amazing. One of the most amazing meals I've ever had. I like it all. I, you know, I put my Jonjo sauce on top of my mofongo, which was <laughs> phenomenal <laughs> because I got to mix both my cultures mm -hmm. together. Wow. And I, I, I don't know, rockets took off in my mouth, the flavors <laughs> bursted. And I, I, I didn't know if I was sitting in Puerto Rico or Haiti, to be honest. The food well, was both. phenomenal. <laughs> both beaches are beautiful, both countries, right. you know, mm -hmm. but 
The foods are amazing. You can tell, as I say in my house, you put your foot in it. Means it just <laughs> you did it with all your love, and there, there's nothing better. You can taste it. I see it. The merging of it all together. I, I, I'm like you. I'm gonna put it all on the same plate. Right? I'm gonna mix it, it together. Better. I'm gonna yeah. take a little of the lentils and a little of the white rice and a little of this and. You guys, all three of your chefs, coming from another chef like I am, phenomenal job. I'd love to cook next to you guys any day of the week, honestly. Oh, thank you. I honestly did a carnival out of my carnival of food. Because I literally mixed everything together and it was amazing. And I would want to congratulate all the chefs for this amazing dish that you prepared us. And I like the story how you, you make the situation of vegan that you had to be creative and turn your situation into like such fun experience. Mm -hmm. So congratulations on that. And for that, I mean, sauce pool and sauce jo jo. La ula kaimwe. So amazing. Once again, it was on point. There was nothing. It wasn't too salty or too hot or too nothing. It was. Right where it was supposed to be. Yes. Thank you. I love that. Yes. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. <laughs> in all of our islands, we learn to appreciate beauty in all shades. Mm -hmm. And we learn to appreciate what every different shade brings to the table. Yeah. And celebrate that. And I think that's what truly makes us unique. Yeah. Because we are we all become one. Mm -hmm. You know? And we all appreciate the beauty. And it's not beauty is not one thing. Or well, we're not mixture, a homogenous. Yeah. It is the mixture, the yeah. and it's that's what's exciting about it, right? Yeah. Is the mixture yeah. and the flavor. I mean, well, what an incredible job we brought in Florida sweet peppers and Florida sweet corn, and these chefs just took to it like they've been working with it their entire lives. So thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Congratulations. Salud, salud, salud. Salud, salud. Food has power. The power to bring people together. The power to make us feel at home. The power to comfort us and bring us joy. In kitchens everywhere, mothers and fathers are teaching their children how to keep the heartbeat of their roots alive. Gather your loved ones, your neighbors. Live generously, share meals and hearts. Let your laughter be loud and your love be strong. So whether you're from the Caribbean or just love good food, we welcome you to our table. <laughs>